what is up you guys what is T I'm your girl Ono and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please hit the like and subscribe button and also the bell to get the notifications I am so pissed off that I picked today of all days to sleep in girl this morning when I got up I picked up my damn phone and all I saw was Open the door, VS, VS, open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door, everybody, open the door, open the door. I said, what the fuck is going on? What is, who is at the damn door? Come to find out, <laughs> it's a process server, okay? She looks about maybe 22 at best from a distance. And then I heard that she had her fucking baby in the car. Who, what, when, where, and why, Okay. Who the fuck would take their child to serve someone, not knowing that this person is going to get out of control, irate, insane, get to shooting, or anything else? That is crazy to me. It's just fucking insane. Like, and then I was questioning the fact whether or not she really was a process server because BS said that she lied and said that she was looking for a job once the police was called. <laughs> and I could tell by her body language just by standing by the car you could tell that she knew whoever the fuck she was that she was dead wrong with the presentation like I heard that it was not just a regular knock it was a boom 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 you know um <laughs> y'all might think that y'all want vs to open that damn door but I got vs shooting a bitch and that's just real talk like I've been around street niggas hood niggas and all of that shit all my life and she trigger happy you know and to have your baby your baby with you not only is that unprofessional it's dangerous as fuck and i noticed that like a lot of people are putting their children in harm's way behind this youtube shit like not only do we have the situation today where the supposedly process server came but I'm seeing photos of children online at Disney World, people talking about miscarriages and abortions and smoking weed in front of their children. Like, come on. Your whole life is not supposed to be on display for a bunch of strangers. Seriously. Now, right here it says that she's actively denying being served and basically um, that she'd been home during all three attempts, which may have been the case. Um, <laughs> there used to be a show on TV, and I don't know if any of y'all caught it, but it was called, um, some shit, I forgot, You Got Served, or something like that, I just remember it was this big-ass black guy on there named Byron, and he would have a hell of a time trying to serve people that had to go to court. People run from you, they throw their hands back, they won't receive it, and if they don't touch it and grab it physically, there's not a damn thing that you can do about it, but keep on trying to make attempts. And that is the reason why they're paid so highly, because it's a hell of a fucking job. You have to fight sometimes. Um, it says, I have forwarded that information to our server. I have requested she make her final attempt today around 10 o'clock, so hopefully she is on her way there now. So this is supposed to be an indication that the young lady that showed up really actually was a process server and she was going there around 10. Um, <laughs> I don't know if the child was supposed to be a decoy and to make her think that she was someone else. Um, why no one thought of the fact that VS was going to be on eggshells anyway because she's always watching her back constantly is beyond me, you know. Um, whenever y'all do it, if it gets done, please let me know how because it ain't going to happen easy. It's not going to go down easy. This woman's life has been threatened on numerous occasions. Not to mention the fact that people are following her to the store, to her son's school, and God knows what else that she's not putting on display that people are doing to her. Y'all can't keep expecting this woman to keep getting threats and to open her door. Now, I have two girlfriends and also my stepmother who is employed with the FBI. I did not ask my girlfriends, but I did ask my stepmom. I was like, hey, my mom. What is the penalty behind giving false information to the FBI or reporting it to them? 
and she said it was a federal offense definitely and at best you're going to get about five years you know if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about and what's really going on do not feel forced to pick a side you do not have to pick a side you don't have to even voice your opinion on this matter I've said this time and time again, and I'm going to say it one more fucking time. It is just a matter of time before we wake up one goddamn day and one of these people who are content creators is going to be on fucking CNN and one's going to be the victim and one's going to be the convicted fucking felon. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Because we have said that next time there's not going to be a 911 call. Self-defense is not murder. It's not murder. When you have someone trespassing, invading your personal space, stalking you, following your children, you do what the fuck you have to do. Because I know I would, and that's not me picking a side, and you know what I'm saying, I'm not trying to drag BS, I'm not trying to drag Sean Bradley. All I'm saying is, if I were in this predicament, and this was my personal situation, I would be on motherfucking eggshells too. And you let somebody run up on me and come kicking at my door and shit. Your first instinct is going to be to protect yourself and, more importantly, your children and anyone else inside of your home. She is a single woman. That means that there is no man present except of her son, who she still feels as though she has to protect, even though he's a grown man. That's still her baby. Hell, my son is six foot three and weighs well over 200 pounds solid and I still feel as though he has to walk through a door before I do. I need to be behind him. There is no man left behind. I'm still watching over his back even though his back is way fucking taller than mine. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times and oftentimes people on here do forget that we are mothers. We're aunts. Some of us are even grandmothers. We are women. We're women. Majority of us. And We got to do what we got to do by any means necessary. But at the bottom line is, and at the end of the day, this shit is just the fucking internet. It's only YouTube. It's getting out of control. It's getting out of hand. Um, I'm actually even second guessing myself what the fuck I'm still doing on here because it's really getting reckless. It's getting reckless. You know, I love a roast and a gag. I'm here for the shit. But I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I'm going to see y'all later. As always, if you like what I'm kicking out, please like, share, and subscribe. That shit is free, my nigga. You don't got no excuse. Hit that motherfucking subscribe and that bell button. And I will be back with more of the shits, goddammit.